Hey guys, this is Killian at Dark Wizard Movies. Today I will be showing you how to make lightning in After Effects. This effect can be useful for numerous different projects. You can use it for intros, you can use it as a superpower, you can use it for wizards or force lightning, whatever you want. I think it looks pretty nice and uh, so let's see the clip. I think it looks pretty good. So to start with this effect, you are going to need to come down here, go and right click, go to new, solid, it needs to be a black solid, and we will call it lightning, or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call it lightning. And we will now turn this off, find the place in the footage where our lightning is going to start, right about there, drag it like that. Then we will find where it's going to end in our footage, probably around here. Alright, so that is going to be the lightning itself. That's the layer that the lightning is going to be on. We will now go up to effects and presets and type in lightning. You'll see numerous different lightning options. The one we're going to use is horizontal here. We'll drag this onto our footage. And we'll now turn the layer back on so you'll see the lightning up here. Alright. Now, the reason I use horizontal lightning over advanced lightning is that although they are pretty much the same, uh, horizontal lightning's conductivity state starts uh, starts to move when you play the when you play the footage. So you'll see it move uh, right here. Normal lightning does not do that. You can move the conductivity state uh, manually, but it just saves us a bit of time. It's just kind of nice. Uh, so we will now go up to where it says two-way strike and change it to just strike. We will now go to core radius and change that to around eight. We will change the glow settings to be zero because we do not want the default glow. Um, we will now drag the lightning so that it looks like it is coming out of my hand or my thumb here. Uh, all right, and then we will change the core color to be bluish. Now this is something some people don't do, and it can really make your lightning look better, so be sure you do this. Alright, now another thing uh, that some people might miss is you're going to need to composite on original here. So now the screen will be black with your lightning on it. We'll go to, you're going to right click on the layer, go to blending mode, and put it on screen. If you do not do this, then your coloring will not work later on and your lightning will be white. Alright, so now we will uh, alt click on the stopwatch on core radius and type in wiggle and the parentheses and 40 comma 10. This will make the lightning sort of pulse as it uh, as it moves and so this will give it a bit more of a chaotic look which is something you really want with lightning. And to add with that we're going to alt click on the forking stopwatch. Once again type wiggle a parentheses then about 50 50 something around there. And so now the forking will also fluctuate as the lightning moves. All right, we'll now go to effects and presets. We'll type in glow, add glow to our layer, and then we'll duplicate this with control D until there are six of them. All right, now that we have six glow layers, this is going to be how I make my glow, but you can do however you want. I'm gonna change the first two to both be glow radius 1000. And then the next one is going to be about 700, then around 300, then around 100, and then lastly about 20. After you do this, we will go to effects and presets, go to vector blur, add vector blur to our lightning. We will now change the amount to around 8, and that will sort of give it a bit more of a glowy look so that it doesn't... It looks kind of strange if you don't have vector blur on. This just sort of blends the whole thing together and makes it look more present in your image. After we have vector blur, we will go back to effects and presets, type in curves, add curves to our lightning. This will be our way of coloring it. We'll turn the alpha up a little bit, not too much. Turn the red way down, turn the green down as well, but not as much as the red. Then add some blue on top of it and it'll make a very nice blue lightning color like that. I think that looks pretty nice, and we'll keep it around there for now. All right, now we will go back up to effects and presets and add turbulent displace. Add this to our lightning, 
I'm going to change the amount to around 25 and then you'll click the stopwatch on evolution. Then go to the end of your lightning and spin this dial around five times. That should be good. So now the lightning has a bit of a distorted look to it. You don't have to do this, this is totally optional. Uh, I prefer for things like magic lightning or force lightning, if you're going for something like that. I think this sort of enhances the effect. Alright, so the lightning bolt itself is now completed. Now to track the lightning bolt you are going to need to click the stopwatches for direction and origin and then track it by hand each frame to whatever you're tracking it to. At this point you could also add other little bits of lightning arcing off of your hand or between your fingers or whatever uh, and that is totally optional you can do that if you want. Uh, I'm going to now track this lightning and I will come back when it is finished. Alright, so I have now tracked the lightning into my footage, and this is what it looks like. I think that looks pretty good, so if you want you can be done here. There are other things you can do, and I will show you what they are, but if you think that your lightning is good enough right now, then you can stop the video and do whatever you want with it. However, if you want to continue watching, I will be explaining how you can do digital lighting. So if you have access to practical lighting, it is pretty much always better. It's pretty much never a reason you would want to uh, do your lighting in After Effects rather than doing it practically. But if you have no budget like me and you don't have access to practical lighting, then this can be helpful for you. So we are going to go to the start of our lightning here and duplicate the base layer. We're going to trim it to be the same length as the lightning uh, itself. So like this. And we will now start adding effects to it. We will add a tritone effect. And this is a form of tint essentially. We will go to the middle color, the midtones and you'll change it to a grayish blue color, like that. And then change blend with original to 50. You are now going to add a curves effect to the layer. You're going to turn this up some. Ooh, do not do that. Uh, turn the red down a bit. Turn the green down a bit, like that. Uh, around there should be good. And then turn the blue way up. And actually turn the alpha up a little more too. Something like this. Um, so now you are going to go to Vibrance. And you'll probably turn Saturation up by about 15. Alright, so this is it obviously looks terrible at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. We're going to grab the pen tool. And we're going to mask out what we want to be lit. So right here is going to be my face. I'm going to bend my chin in there like that around the eye. Okay, something like that. Now let's expand the mask a little bit here. Okay, that, that should be good enough for now. Alright, we will now go down to the layer itself, go to masks, and then turn mask feather up to probably 90-ish. Alright, that should give it a bit more of a glow look there. Change opacity to about 70. And then we will alt click on the stopwatch of opacity, type in wiggle around 40 and 40. Let's just do 40, and yeah, let's do 40, 50. So that will give it a bit of flicker, so it'll move with the lightning, it'll flicker with the lightning. Now go to mask path, click the stopwatch there, and track it onto your face. It does not have to be a good track, it can be a very sloppy track if you want. Uh, if I was really doing this for a film or something, I'd probably spend more time on it, but for the purposes of this video, I can track it like this. Very, very sloppy. Does not have to be super precise. And I don't want my hair. So yeah, a little more like that. Like that. And yeah, it's a little strong, so let's turn the base opacity down to about 50%. Alright, and we'll see just how that looks for now. So it gives a bit of lighting onto my face, grounds the effect a little bit. Does not look as good as practical lighting would, but it's good enough uh, for this effect. So that is how I make my lightning. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully if you followed all the steps correctly, you should have something that looks kind of like my lightning. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. That's it for today guys, and I will see you later.